Well, they say you never know when it comes to playing the state lottery. And it turns out a lot of politicians really didn't know details of the governor's plan to let a private company take over management of the New Jersey state lottery. The Treasury Department announced that they're awarding this contract now to the only bidder. And we're told this is a consortium made up of four out-of-state entities. A 15-year deal, $120 million deal, and we're being told that the Democrats don't like it. We're going to find out for sure right now. Joining us on the phone is Assemblyman John Berzicelli. Assemblyman, from what you've heard, what do you know about this, first of all, and do you or do you not like it? Well, Mike, uh, we know very little, and I wouldn't say that we don't like it. I would say that we don't like the fact that there, the public process associated with the, the decision has been non-existent. When the lottery was established, and the lottery is very important to our revenue stream, it was established by way of a public process, public discussion, and in the end, a voter referendum to change the Constitution. This didn't require a constitutional change. But if this is such a good deal, which we hope it is, by the way, then I don't know why uh, the light of day and a public, a public discussion, a public hearing, would not have been helpful to the process. Now, printed reports have indicated that uh, you, you your, and your fellow Democrats have requested briefings on some of this before and gotten nothing. Is that correct? We requested the Treasurer to be with us to talk to us of details. Uh, his schedule didn't permit it. Uh, we, all, we always understood that because of the process of going out for information and trying to put the details together, that there may be some things that couldn't be discussed in great detail publicly uh, based on the kind of pro uh, competitive process the governor's office was engaging in. But uh, this, this, this needed, in my mind, to be better understood going in. Again, we hope it's a great deal. But if you recall years ago when the Whitman administration moved to privatize the inspection stations, it was initially not a good thing. We hope this is not the case here collectively, but we know nothing about the details of the arrangements. Assemblyman, have to leave it there. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you.